it's very rare to get an item that is practical and actually does keep you warm and actually does what it says it does um, and still looks good. I remember it was one of the first things that I bought myself with my own money. It was a big investment at the time, you know, it, they were quite a reasonable amount of money then. Using the window on a, on a mannequin, I like the design, the shape of it. It looked quite unique. The design of it is very functional, straight to the point. And things that are simple, you know, last a long time. It just feels nice when I put it on my back, as an old coat does. It's about 30 years old, and it was my mum's, and I sort of stole it out of the wardrobe. She was struggling to get me to wear a coat because no coats are fashionable when it's pouring with rain. And I think most teenagers would rather freeze than wear a coat because they are so unattractive normally. My old barber is a Beedales, um, circa 1982. It was such a brilliant, hard-wearing utility coat for whatever you wanted to do in it. As you say, from fishing to riding to everything. And all the zips and the pockets all the poppers, everything is working on it. Nothing has broken in 30 years. I just felt it was incredibly good condition and I would just tuck it in the back of the cupboard and hopefully one day I'd be small enough again to get in it. <laughs> Which didn't ever happen, but never mind. <laughs> Well, this is the game fair, and I think I bought this um, about 30, 31 years ago. You know, it's been a good companion. I like how it's just so easy going. It goes with everything. It's really good colour and it's really good. It's so warm. It's still quite lightweight, but it's really warm and it, it's waterproof. There's no, you don't have to worry about it. You just kind of shove it on and, and go. You know, I wear it go to see whole city play. You know, if I'm at the allotment, I wear it, digging potatoes with it, or even uh, beating and walking in the country with it. I originally used it to go to work with when I lived in London. And now, I use it to you know, keep me dry when I'm in the outdoors. So it's had a, a city life and now it's got a country life sort of thing. So uh, it's spanned all needs, I suppose, you know. It's been beaten about by two people and I've done so many things in it and absolutely soaked it to death and, and through wind and rain and um, salt water. And I've worn it for parties where I've actually, it was pouring with rain and we camped. And I've slept with it wrapped round my sleeping bag 
and it's kept everything dry underneath and actually I've actually got some sleep when so many people haven't. A lot of people don't want the coat to look pristine, brand new. They want it to look lived in, and if you know if it's got a small patch on it, it's like like a badge of honour. We lengthen sleeves, shorten sleeves, lengthen jackets, shorten jackets. It all depends on the construction of the coat and what our customer asks for. It's nice to do a lot of work on a coat. You know, see a, a really raggy old coat come in and then see what you can do to the coat and what you have done. It's like taking your car and have an MOT. What I like about it is that um, you, know, you tear it, you damage it, you can just send it back to Simon's side and uh, the factory almost, well, they bring it back to new virtually. Whether it's a small job, or a long job which could take hours. We have one machinist does all the work on that coat. We see more jackets than girls on the factory floor do. So we've got more of an idea, like how to strip the jackets down and rebuild them <laughs> for customers. That's what we do mainly. Pockets get well bashed about, you know, we hands in your pockets, cartridges or other bits and pieces you have in the pocket and carrying binding twine and they sort of just generally fade and wear really. And when we receive the coats we check the pockets to ensure there's nothing in them. We found mobile phones, jewellery, credit cards, checkbooks, dog biscuits, love letters, underwear, in my day, it would have had a horse pick, um, polish, something from the saddle, I don't know, uh, gloves, everything like that for the stables. And uh, I think now it's probably full of lip gloss, lenses, um, oh yes, makeup brushes <laughs> and uh, torches. We always had a torch in there. Torch in there in my day, torch in there now, just in case. Garments are handed down from generation to generation and, you know, it's part of the family. We've had coats coming back over the years that we've repaired three, four, five, maybe some more times. The operators, they'll say, oh, I can remember repairing that coat. I've, I've done that. It's nice to see it coming back again. We've had garments where we've said, right, it's going to cost the, the owner maybe £200, £250 to do the work, the essential work only. But who am I to say, I'm sorry, it's beyond it. It's a customer's coat. They've had sleeve panels put in, cuff panels, uh, bottoms repaired, new lining inside. Um, I suppose the only original piece of the coat which is over 30 odd years old, is the, um, is the back panel. And I suppose the accumulation of the repair costs, I could have bought myself a brand new coat. Um, but I'm just fond of it. It looks like it's been worn, it looks like it's been loved. It hasn't come up straight out of the shop, I really like that about it. Perhaps someone else will throw it away when I'm not around, but I won't get rid of it, even if I don't wear it no more. I might eventually buy myself one, but I'll keep wearing this one for in the meantime. I quite like it. There we are, nice and cosy. Yeah, back in now. <laughs> and I think the fact that I kept it, that's very important, the fact that something made me keep that. It's lovely, now I'm a mother of, you know, older teenagers, and that the fact that they actually would like to put this on again. I should keep it, and then wouldn't that be lovely if we had got it in the cupboard for perhaps a, a grandchild? that once it needed a coat and we'll just say, put that on dear, and it's still in a good condition then.